Hello and welcome to our haunted house. Hello and welcome to this week's show. Now, if you're wondering who that spooky chap was that we met at the top of the programme only moments ago, we'll be finding out more about him and the other strange goings on at this house, Barrow Court in Birmingham, a little bit later on in the programme. But first, here's what else is coming up on today's. This splendid Victorian gentleman's residence with its huge gardens is one of Birmingham's best kept secrets. Buried away in the heart of the city centre, it's being restored by its current owners to its former 19th century glory. But every so often, the family takes a break from the restoration and some rather strange people move in for the night. Ah, Miss Becker, I'm glad you could join us. The Black Heart awaits. Please be seated. Thank you. Gosh, it's all a bit spooky, isn't it? So what's it all about, Keith? This is our haunted house where we do uh, theatrical, supernatural themed evenings for people who would like to spend the evening at a haunted house. And let's face it, most people would like to spend the evening at a haunted house. It's like when you're a child telling ghost stories around the campfire. Well, it's that sort of thing, you know, chill up your spine, but, you know, with just the sense that it could be real. So what sort of things would you do in an evening then, Keith? Well, people will uh, come into the house, be met by the butler, have a drink to calm the nerves. They'll have a tour of the haunted rooms where various things will happen. So who's responsible for the tarot readings then? Uh, Natalia Vich. Uh, does some of the readings. She's the deaf mute from Transylvania. Ah, yes. She tarot one... reads with hand signs. I recognise this other man. Didn't madam. he used to be on the wireless, sir? Y yes, madam. I, I top up my income with a little uh, wireless telegraphy announcing. So what brought you into all of this, then? I like to mix with the common people occasionally uh, and get in touch with my inner self and spirits. People pay up to £50 each for an evening's spooky entertainment. The group do perform in other houses, but this house, Barrow Court, has a few tricks of its own to play. There is a room 13, appropriate enough, because it used to be a hotel. And when the hotel uh, it went bankrupt and the chap who owned it lived here on his own, and he lived just in room 13, and the place started to fall round his ears. And now the door of room 13 will very often just slam. Footsteps along the landing and down the stairs into the library. And if you go down to the library, you'll smell uh, pipe smoke, but there's nobody about. Obviously, Keith, we're in the library. Books are a bit of a giveaway, let's be honest, but nothing really very spooky happening. It's a haunted house, you just never know what's going to happen. Oh, my word. Do you? Oh, my word. You're so calm. I don't know how you do this. Can I touch it? Oh, gosh, it's ever so cold. <laughs> when we're actually having an evening here at Barrow Court, people will tell us of the amazing effects that we provided for them. Often, we've not provided those effects. They've provided them for themselves. We've certainly experienced a presence here, and we've had things happen uh, in this room when we've set things. I've locked the room, come back, and all my equipment's been moved all over the place. You'd never heard anything, and no one could have got in the room. Oh, but come on, guys. This is one of yours, isn't it? Isn't it? Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, you know what they say, there's nothing like a hard day spooking to work up an appetite. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this week on our house. So, from all of us at the Bewitched Barrow Court, it's good night. Join us next week when we'll be having a nose round some very upmarket apartments in the centre of Birmingham and we'll be visiting...